Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for May 6th, which is Isaiah 26, 3 through, 3 through 4, and 7. That sounded weird. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I'm just mark marking off the ones that we're going to be doing. So, we're focused on May, reading, writing, praying, reflecting on the word trust, self-study, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. We are still on the word trust, which is a seven-day devotional in the Version app. And if you look up my name, you will find me on there as well. So, with that being said, oh, wrong page. I just filmed five, that's why you don't see the soap study done, but let's go ahead and turn this page in. When I come back from running around, then I will do soap, devotionals, especially on Sunday, I want to get a lot of my um, faith stuff done. So, scripture, Isaiah 26, 3 through 4, and 7. I have the NIV in front of me. So Isaiah 26, 3, 4, and 7. It says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Right? It's 4. Okay. And then 7. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, Make the way of the righteous smooth. So how's everyone doing and how is your daily scripture writing going? I am doing good. Today is the 6th at 7.56 in the morning. So I did catch up, which is always awesome. So um, what I'm going to do within the next week is we're going to start reading the book of, uh, I want to say Proverbs. And we're going to read a couple chapters, not a couple chapters, a couple of um, parts a day until Proverbs is complete. Then we'll go into the next book, which I haven't decided yet. So if you guys want to decide... Leave it in the comments below. But it's going to be Proverbs first. And not this week. Um, I may start it this week coming up because today is Saturday. So I may start it. I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. So let's start it on the following Monday. So not this Monday, but the following Monday. Because then my doctor should be deciding. It shouldn't be too many. And I'm going to start doing the Proverbs. And yeah, so we'll do that. Start reading the Bible together. And I'm going to write it down as soon as I'm done writing this. I think that would be good for us. And then choose another book. I did set up my printer. So I will be... I have... I listed... I took a... Oh, where's it at? Okay, so let me remove this piece of paper. I know I jump all over the place. Okay, so I took a few of these little list pads, right? And I wrote um, Old Testament books of the Bible or something like that. And I wrote them down. And then it took a few of these. And so that's what I did for that note, uh, list pad. And with that, every time I read one of the books, I want to highlight it and put the year. The date it started and then the year. Okay. So that when I am close, you know, like every time I read a book of the Bible, I'm going to do the same process. But what I wanted to do is put it into a planner or even like my war binder Somewhere where I can see it every day. 
And it's not like you have to mark it off, but I just want to see the progress of how far I'm getting and how long it's taken me to read the Bible. If I could get it done in a year, that's great. And if I can't, that's great. I will still keep continuing to do it. It's not like something you read the Bible and you're done. No. You have to continue and you have to keep reading to understand. You have to have resources to help you understand the Bible. If it's commentaries, if it's, you know, anything like that's going to help you read the Bible. There's apps out there like the Blue Letter, I think it is. And there's a few other. I'm just, you know, saying stuff off my head. I could have wrote it down and told you, but... I just wanted you to know that we are going to start reading on, not this Monday coming up, the following. Because I don't want to be like, okay, well, I'm late because of this. I'd rather just do my doctor's appointments and then come back and be like, okay. Because on Tuesday, I would not be able to see right until later that day. Um, once they dilate my eyes and do some numbing cream or numbing injection, whatever it is. I won't be able to really see that day. And then you get headaches and then it's a whole thing. So so that is what's going to happen. So yeah, so with the printer I just hooked up. I just got a new one 2 days ago. <clears throat> and so I want to have print it all out on paper, copy paper. And then have it where I could check it off in another planner. Because if I lose these sheets, I'll have to start it all over again. Like checking off and seeing what book I read and stuff like that. So I want to have it in multiple places. So I know, okay, she's on time doing this one. Well, not on time because you're never... Uh, I wouldn't say you're never on time. But I just want to make sure that it's right. So we're back onto the site again. I don't give like two sheets to it because it's not a lot. I'm just grateful that I caught up. So you'll see it later this afternoon because I have one already going up, which is day six. No, I'm sorry, day five. So seven is... Psalms 28, 6 through 9. And we will bring in She Reads Truth. Psalms 28. Oh. And then verse 6. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you um, can join me while I read the Bible to you. And it's going to be parts. It's not going to be like... Uh, Isaiah 26, 1 through whatever it is for that whole chapter on 26. It's going to be in parts so that, but it won't take us long, I don't think. So we'll just do that until the book of the Bible is read. Maybe um, do a month like that. Because I know we're not going to be able to turn it right and read it at the same time. We're not going to be able to finish within a year unless we do multiples. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope you enjoy this video. And I'm just writing down some notes so I know to upload this video. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.